issue. Get out of here for a second. I don't know what I locked onto, but hopefully it does something. direction and then Flagship systems. Yo, right in your butt. Lucky I was here. On the move, that they felt that. Nice shot. No, Starhawk hyperdrive systems are disabled. Engines and hyperdrive systems are severely damaged. It might be jumping anyway. I'm not done yet. Jeez. Oh. Titan, lead another part of the dockyards. Your people needed you, Lyndon, but you weren't here. Is there anyone you won't turn your back on? I'm here now, Teresa. If there's anything you want to say, say it. All stations! Fire on that ship! Okay, yes, I only got two of the five, and I know where I messed up. We're gonna continue, and we're, oh, never mind, we're playing as the Imperial still. It's pretty cool. We had them. They were in our sights, and Captain Carroll just let them go. 
What could she do with our missile guidance scrambled? We could have done something. Now Lyndon James and Vanguard Squadron are laughing at us. They're running scared, dragged down by an injured fleet. If anyone's laughing, it's Captain Carroll. Let's just get to the briefing room. I tell you what. I don't know if anyone's laughing. The Nadiri dockyards are burning. Their Starhawk flees before us. Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? But this is no time to get complacent. I've waited too long to let Linden slip away again. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Instead, we must force them into the Ringali Nebula. There, Vanguard and their battleship will be erased from history. Our Empire has called us to serve. We cannot fail. Our enemy is on the run. You have done well, Titan Squadron. But, in order to stop them, I need you to break off from the Overseer and fly ahead of the enemy fleet to set a trap. LT-514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrala. To do so, they must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous Starhawk. Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan, fly ahead of their fleet and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. That includes you. Wield this advantage cautiously. Destroy any Republic starfighters attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. If all goes according to plan, the Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Either way, we win. Unless they go up or down or any of the other directions they could possibly go. I trust you see the wisdom in our strategy. Come now. Even damage, the rebel fleet still presents a legitimate threat. We can't simply attack it in the open. Too exposed. Exactly. Sabotage is the answer. We pick the fleet apart, thin their numbers, and leave the Starhawk right where we want it. Defenseless. Precisely. If all goes to plan, you and the rest of Titan Squadron will have a clear run at the Starhawk, Lyndon Javes, and Vanguard. Ah, yes. Vanguard Squadron continues to be a vexing anomaly in my calculations. A problem you two are happily well positioned to correct. Good luck. I'll be monitoring you from here. I don't know what's going on outside. People are yelling, or just having a conversation, very loudly. I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and have the conversation again. I don't know how you can be so calm. I've never been more ready for a mission in my life. Good. Ride the adrenaline. But remember... Yes, Svarko, don't die. You've said it a hundred times, none of us are replaceable. Actually, I was going to say I need you alive because if our plan works, there's a good chance we'll be fighting the Starhawk in the middle of a nebula. If that's how this ends, then I want that good old Von Reg fury covering our backs. We came so close at Nadiri and they slipped through our fingers. Not again. Not today. Pace yourself. Make sure that fire's there when I need it. Can we just get started? All right, prepare for launch. For this oh. mission, you're authorized to fly a TIE bomber or a TIE reaper. 
I prefer the bomber. So I'm going to take the bomber. I don't know what's going on around me. Stuff's being dropped on the floor. People are yelling outside. My moron upstairs neighbor is stomping across the floor. I'll tell you what, I need to find a place that has no upstairs neighbors or downstairs neighbors. There's one on the right. Overseer, we've reached the target destination. There's two. The enemy is advancing as expected. You have time to prepare our trap. Copy that. Let's find those reactor cores. Remember, only active cores are explosive. And the rest are useless duds. Understood. Rigging these cores to explode? We're not. The active cores are volatile. It only takes a few shots to detonate them. So the rebels inadvertently created their own minefield. I love it. Oops. That core isn't active, so it's useless to us. Destroy it and move on. Active core located. Hey, what was it? I'm not. I, I was doing the objective, and then he told me to destroy the ones that aren't active. I don't know which one that was. I'm not turning around to figure it out. No good. Oh. Keep scanning for active cores. I, I did it again. Hit R instead of T. The proximity sensors on active cores will alert us to enemies in range of our explosives. If you hear the alarm, a ship is inside the kill zone. That's when we attack the cores and detonate. I did not scan these. missiles on me anymore which is upsetting hopefully when the overseer gets involved I can get back with the uh One in front of me. Another one in front of me. No sewing you is there. I'm being really careful around these mines. I I hear them on my right. 